Shut up and sit down. Hey friends, I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And if you enjoy our videos, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell thing. That would be very kind of you indeed. And do you guys remember, I know it feels like a million years ago now, but the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Remember those days when we were imagining that a lockdown may last two weeks and then we'll be back to normal again? Yeah. But also, do you remember when the world was obsessed for a hot minute with a TV show called Tiger King? And it was definitely a weird and wonderful phenomenon that was just poof, gone. But there is a dramatization of the main characters from Tiger King coming out. And I guess, first of all, I'm intrigued to see what it's like. But secondly, I just wonder if the world cares enough to watch it anymore. So I guess we're going to go ahead and check out the trailer right now of Joe vs. Carol with an incredible cast. If you want to see what we think about it, and if we would care enough to watch the show, then stick around until the end. But for now... Let's go. Let's go. Carol Baskin? I'm Carol Baskin. Does the name Joseph Maldonado Passage mean anything to you? He is a psychopath who wishes me dead. We've been in an ongoing dispute oh. with Joe. I'm sorry, I understand this must be very hard for you. Oh, no, sorry. I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> I really feel like I was put on this earth to rescue cats. Welcome to the best exotic animal show in the Oh my United god. States. This is who we've been after. Documented animal abuser, Joe Exotic. We're coming for you. Baby. I've had to fight for everything I got. I didn't even know you had a husband. Almost 12 years. Wow. I come from a home that didn't feel like a sanctuary. When there are no more animals in cages, then there will be no more need for us to rescue them. Someone's got to kill that bitch. Shit! You have no idea what I'm willing to do for my animals. I got a job for you. Oh my what God! Kind of what are you looking for? Something that will stop a hitman in his tracks. Oh Lord, don't let me be so it's war. It's war. We're gonna make a family at this park. No one can say a damn thing about it. Here's to the unwanted animal. It ain't just about the cats. Spoiler alert. So how many people are gonna see this little documentary of yours? Wow. He shot me. Bang, bang, bang. Three times. He shot you. Technically, it was a blow up doll of me. We're ready to roll. <laughs> this is a show. I can sell this. America is going to love you. I will never stop. If you've got any dirt on this woman, I want to hear about it. He has no idea what I've been through in my life. Is this awesome or ridiculous? <laughs> Individually, we are a whimper. But together, we are a roar. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Carol Baskin, you see me now? Oh, Lord. I always thought cat people were a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So we have now seen the new full trailer for Joe vs. Carol. What did you think of it? It's a lot more weird and also <laughs> more normal than I was expecting. Yes! And I do feel like, I mean, I would watch anything that Kate McKinnon is in because she's incredible. And John Cameron Mitchell. Like, yes. the dude is awesome. They both embody those characters. I mean, the ones that, with the version of them that we saw in the documentary, they just embody them so well, but also quite sympathetically. Like, you can see how they're setting it up, that you, you understand why they both hate each other, but also you understand, they really demonstrate that both of them feel like they're doing the right thing by their animals and that they're driven by this passion to rescue animals and be around animals. Um, so it's not, it, it feels... It feels kind of like a parody, but it's not, it doesn't seem mean spirited. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I got that same kind of vibe from it. And it's funny, like watching the original Tiger King show, like it was kind of almost comic to start with. But by the end of the series, I just felt really sad for everyone involved. Like, every single person in it just made me feel sad. Mm. There was no one likable character. And yet, in this show, they seem to have taken kind of likable crumbs from those characters 
and just focused on them in a really meaningful way. It's and it's funny, like I saw Kate McKinnon and my brain just immediately latched onto this is like a Saturday Night Live sketch. Mm. Like we're so used to seeing Kate McKinnon, you know, dressed up as somebody else, parodying them in a comedy way. And it just took me a minute to realize, I mean, definitely there are going to be funny moments in this, but it's not a comedy. It's clearly a drama. Mm. But yeah, like the spectacle that it caused in early 2020, when everybody was talking about this, and you had like rappers debating (laughs) whether Carol Baskin killed her husband or not, and whether Joe Exotic should really be in jail, and people asking for a presidential pardon. Like the world went mad for this story for just a hot second there. And I think this could actually do a great job at reviving kind of how they got to that point, like where the the madness in both of these characters came from Mm. as things escalated. And how, you know, it got to the point where it became this giant public circus. Almost like a Breaking Bad kind of thing, where you start off having, like, regular people put in uncomfortable situations, and they make the same choices as any one of us would make in that situation, but gradually things just kind of spiral until you just don't recognize that person anymore. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and I guess I love Dr. Death on Peacock. That was one of my favorite shows to binge last year. If this is anything like the quality of that show, I would watch the crap out of it. So, yeah, super, super impressed by this trailer. Much, much more. I honestly thought at this point I was going to be saying, you know, it looks okay. They've got a great cast, but will anyone actually care? I think this may cause people to care again, which... I mean, caring about anything, (laughs) especially in the middle of winter here in New York where there's nothing else to do anyway, I think we may be watching Joe vs. Carol. Definitely. And it's not far off now. It really is not. March. A few weeks. Well, hey, well, thank you to everyone who clued us out that Joe vs. Carol was coming out on Peacock. It looks, yeah, it looks awesome. And we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this trailer. If you did, we will be back very soon. And we'll see you on the next Nerd Safari. Peace out, nerds. Shut up and sit down.